What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and this is going to be part 3 of the score challenges. For the third score challenge you must defeat Dark Wolverine with a score over 105,000. And just like in the previous challenges you're going to get a command point for defeating this. You're also going to want to go ahead and fight all the mini bosses along with the boss. Gaining a team up bonus as well as using 5 or more items in a battle gains you extra points. Also finishing enemies with an overkill will help your score a lot as well as ending the battle with most of your characters at high health. For this one we're going to use Havoc along with Wolverine and we're basically going to use Havoc to do some major damage and produce some overkills. We start the battle out with Plasma Spheres which will place Exhausted as well as a number of debuffs on all the enemies. And then it's going to be Vulture's turn as well as a Slicer but first it looks like Wolverine procs the best there is. So we're going to use a mystical munition to go ahead and remove tripping. As you may know tripping is a really annoying buff and it lowers damage greatly against those enemies. We went for the stun on the other slicer and you can see just how little damage he takes. And I should have maybe checked to see if he was immune to stun first. But we will definitely remove his tripping with another mystical munition. And that's pretty much the easiest way to remove this buff. So first we use our quick action Neurotrope. And that's going to buff all of our team. Then we're going to go ahead and use that munition. So now his tripping is gone and he'll take normal damage. Let's see what Vulture does on his turn. So first off Wolverine will step up to protect it. And he's going to counter attack. So we place some bleeding stacks. Then we get the best there is once again. So Wolverine is actually going off in this battle. He's proccing everything every turn just like the AI Wolverine. And if you've ever faced Wolverine with the AI controlling them you know what I'm talking about. Now that it's Havoc's turn we're going to go for an epic overkill. So let's go ahead and use his level 9 which is channel energy. Then after that we're going to follow it up with his level 2. So that's going to be a plasma wave on this bottom slicer. So there it is 53,000 and an epic overkill. With Wolverine we're going to finish off this top slicer and he's going to do a double attack. Havoc also procs an uncanny coordination so he would have got an extra turn right then. We're getting pretty much all of our special procs going off this battle. On Wolverine's turn we're going to use a golden nugget and the reason we're doing this is to gain back our stamina. I noticed that it's a really good way to gain stamina but it also gives you health back if you need it. Then on the agent's turn we're going to use enchanted crowbar. That's going to set up this bruiser with a number of debuffs that will help Havoc out. And speaking of Havoc he got uncanny coordination once again. So let's go ahead and use Plasma Spheres. That unfortunately finishes that bruiser so we didn't get to do a huge hit on him. But that's alright we'll take it. The main character that we want to score an overkill on is the end boss Dark Wolverine. Wolverine's going to gain the best there is once again so we'll get another attack with him. And this is probably some of the best luck I've ever had with Wolverine and Havoc. Right after these two enemies go down we're going to go ahead and move on to the last wave and that will feature the boss Dark Wolverine. Another thing that may help out your score is go ahead and move through these waves as fast as possible. Try to defeat the enemies in the least amount of turns possible. Now on Havoc's turn we're going to do another fully charged plasma wave. So that will be the second epic overkill of the battle. On Wolverine's turn we're going to use a lost page. That's going to top up our health, give us a regen effect and it would have removed any debuffs we may have had. Then we're going to finish the character off with a mystical munition. And we did that just because we want to gain the quartermaster bonus. That's a bonus to your score for using 5 or more items in a battle. So now that it's our agent's turn we're going to use the neurotrope. Then we're going to follow that up by using the enchanted crowbar. That'll help the paragon exploiter move of havoc do even more damage. After that they're going to get 4 turns in a row so it could get ugly. I also want to note that since Dark Wolverine is a scrapper you could do a ton of damage with Captain Britain or any big hitting bruiser such as World War Hulk. Even a bruiser version of Thor or Iron Fist could do really good damage on Wolverine. I just used Havoc because I figured he'd gain some team up bonus with Wolverine since they're both mutants and X-Men and also he does incredible damage. These two enemies are pretty interesting because they gain tons of attacks as well as coordinated attacks. 
The only thing is they don't do too much damage. And as you can see right there, we actually dodge some of their attacks. And as soon as Havoc gets a turn, we're going to take out Dark Thor. And we're definitely going to score another epic overkill. And we will try to repeat the same thing against Dark Wolverine. But he may not last until Havoc gets another turn. Especially not with our Wolverine counterattacking him. The enemy did gain a coordinated attack, so Dark Thor throws his hammer, and we dodge both hits. So his accuracy must be pretty low with all the debuffs we put on him. Regardless, we're going to finish him right now. Here's a Plasma Wave, another 58,000 damage, in an epic overkill. And what we're actually going to do is finish the battle with our Bruiser Agent. So he should be able to do pretty good damage with the Warbringer Axe. Let's get him as low as possible with our Wolverine. Hopefully we don't finish him off. Then our Bruiser Agent should do plenty of damage and at least get a regular overkill. Our newly reforged Warbringer Axe should do the most damage out of our weapons. And it does a massive overkill so we'll definitely take that one. Now let's see what our score is. I believe we have to beat 105,000. There you see we get plenty of bonuses and we score 142,000 points. So that's plenty enough to beat the score challenge. After this one we just have one remaining. And that's against the epic boss Venom. You have to score 50,000 points. So that's going to be our next video. Please stay tuned for that one. It should be released by tomorrow at the latest. That's going to be the end of this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And go ahead and leave a rating if you liked the video. Lastly, I just want to thank you all for watching. And wish you the best of luck in Spec Ops 12.